Okay, so today we're going to learn another fiddle tune called Catharsis. And this tune is a really popular tune in the United States. I don't know how popular it is um, internationally, but pretty much I've heard this tune everywhere. <laughs> it's a really fun tune. It was written by Amy Kahn, and it's super fun to play. It's a little bit weird. It's in G minor, and the B part is tricky if you aren't prepared for it. Like, it catches a lot of people off guard if they haven't heard it before. Um, so, it's a really cool tune though. So first I'll give a little demonstration of how I play the tune, and then we'll go into learning the A part and the B part slowly. And I'm a little bit apprehensive of this, but at the end of the video, I'm going to play the tune uh, repetitively <laughs> at increasing tempos. And I'm doing this because a lot of people comment like, how do I speed the tune up? I can play it nice and slowly, but I want to play it fast. Um, and honestly, the best thing you can do is repeat the tune a lot and really practice it at tempos that you're comfortable with and gradually increase the speed. So I'm apprehensive of putting this in the video for two reasons. The first is I don't want to discourage people. It's okay to play at slower tempos. These tempos are just there to practice with if you want to try playing it faster. Um, and two, <laughs> I don't want people to think that like they're gonna go from learning a brand new tune all the way up to like playing at really fast fiddle tempos on the first view. <laughs> the extra speeds, they're just there for um, practicing purposes. They're not there to be able to play fast the first time through. I know I wouldn't be able to play those faster tempos if I was first learning this tune, like that's just not, <laughs> that wouldn't be possible for me. Um, but they're there for people that want to learn faster tempos, I guess. Hopefully it helps. Um, but yeah, I've been talking for a lot now. So here's how I play Catharsis. <laughs> version that we will be learning in this video and this tune is written in G minor so that means there are two flats a B flat and an E flat B flat which makes it not the funnest tune to play if you're a guitar player <laughs> um, but it's like to play chords with uh, but it's a really cool tune, and um, so let's get into the A part. Uh, the, there is a very repetitive melody for the A part, and it is... Those notes are very prominent throughout the entire melody, so that is just D, G, G, F natural. Um, so it starts off by repeating that little phrase twice, so... Uh, so let's just do that. One and two and ready and go and. And now we go D, F, G, F. And this is a little bit weird. It's good to do it all in one bow, but it's. B flat, A, G, A, F. It's just a turn. Or a little triplet kind of turn. So let's do. So let's just do that little section. One and two and ready and Go and so now let's put those two pieces together. One and 
two, and ready, and go, and. And now that repeats again, almost. So it goes D, G, G, F, D, G, G, F. Only now we go D, C, B flat, C, B flat, A, B flat, A. So that is. So let's just do that part since that's the new stuff. One and two and ready and go and and so now let's put all of that together so far one and two and ready and go and So it goes D G G F D G G F D G F G A B F A G A. Only now we're gonna go C D C B flat C B flat A B flat A. So let's just do the. that section. One and two and ready and go and and then to finish it off we just go D G G and G G and actually that's the whole A part but that's a lot so let's just play that through once just to get the hang of it. We're gonna add a few more things before we're done with the A part, but uh, let's just do all of that together to kind of get that wrapped around our fingers a bit. One, and two, and ready, and go, and. for the A part. Now there are a couple of little ornaments that we can add to the A part. Um, usually when we play a D, we can also play an open G as a double stop and it adds this, since the key is in G minor, it adds a lot more kind of G's to the tune um, and it kind of adds this like dark kind of I want to say anger, but it kind of adds this sort of like aggressive sound to it if you add in some double stops. However, I personally think that they can easily get overused, so I like to just put it at the beginning of the phrase. But technically, you can kind of put them anywhere, really, especially on the G or the Ds. So I've heard people play it like. Personally, I think that's a little bit much, um, but it's an idea. It might give you some ideas about where to maybe change it up and put them the G in different spots as you play it. Um, 
I personally like to play it at the beginning of each sort of phrase, so it's like... Feel free to throw in some open G's, but we're going to play it again. And this time we're going to play it two times through. Uh, so let's play the A part. Two times through with all of our little ornaments thrown in there. One and two and ready and go and string um, at the end too. So now we are going to learn the B part. The B part is a little bit tricky. There's kind of this weird, um, oh, it's almost like it becomes a jig. Like it's not, it's still very much a reel, but um, just the feel of it, the notes kind of become grouped into little groups of three. It gets a little bit strange, um, but honestly there's a lot of extra notes that are going on and those are being covered by the guitar players or anyone playing chords um, and if we take those out and just focus on the most important melody notes um, a very nice and convenient pattern emerges and once we notice the pattern it's like the B part becomes a million times easier so I'm gonna play the pattern uh, so it goes something like this Literally, that is pretty much the entire B part. You plug in an ending that we learned in the A part, and that's the B part for a simplified version. <laughs> um, so let's just focus on that pattern for right now because it, once we get that under control, it'll make the rest of the tune or the rest of the B part, I should say, a little bit easier to learn. So. It starts on a little scale up, starting on a G, G, A, B flat, C natural, and then we go D, and then two eighth rests, or one quarter note rests. I'll just say rest, rest, since we're going at a slower tempo, but those are eighth rests. So, um, D, rest, rest, C natural, rest, rest, B flat, rest, rest, A, rest, rest. And then it repeats uh, three times. So let's just do that three times. One and two and ready and go and rest, 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 rest. rest, rest. Rest, rest, 
rest, rest, rest, rest, rest, rest, rest, rest, rest, rest, rest, rest, rest, rest, rest, rest, rest. And so now that we have that kind of outlined, always try to emphasize those notes more. Like if you're stuck between trying to play the notes and it's just like too much is going on, always pay more attention to everything going on the A string for this particular section. Um, but the extra notes, <laughs> let's pop those in because it wouldn't be the B part without the extra notes. Um, it's basically every for every rest rest we are playing two G's um, for the first little section. So it'd be like D, D, G, G, C natural G, G, B flat, G, G, A, G, G. So that was the first group of two rests, and then we repeated. Only now we're gonna play two. F naturals and then just that same pattern C F natural F B flat F F A F F and now we just go up again only now we do E flat And so, but once you notice that it's just like the scale up and then we're just throwing in two repetitive notes, you know, between each little um, star note, I guess, uh, it becomes a lot easier to play. So let's do that whole section. It'll sound something like this. It's cool. So let's just do that nice and slow. One and two and ready and go and endings, well, you could kind of do whichever one you want, and, um, to the B part. Usually the first time through, I just plug in the same ending that I did for the A part. So as a bit of a refresher, the A part ending goes... Just G A B flat C D C B flat C B flat A B flat A D G G A G G. So let's just do that little section as a refresher. One and two and ready and go and. to use that ending when we are playing the B part, like going into another B part. It fits very nicely. So like ending on the third finger G, so. It just kind of feeds right on into a, a repetition of the B part. Um, 
But then for the second time through, I often like to play the second repeat of the B part. I like to play this ending. starts out the same, only now those notes are repeated an octave lower, so D, C, B flat, C, B flat, A, B flat, A, um, and then G or D or whatever. I like to do end on G's because it is in G minor, so I like to end on the main note. Um, but you could technically, I guess, end on a D. Um, it's good to do a double stop, though, at least. Like, try to include that G in there. So, let's just do the second version, the... So now let's put everything together and play the B part two times through. And we'll go nice and slowly. Uh, so as a refresher, it's... It does that. So one and two and ready and go and... So we've learned the A part and the B part. So now let's play the whole tune uh, at a nice low tempo. And then at the end of the video, we'll increase tempo gradually. Um, so let's play the A part twice and the B part twice uh, at a nice low tempo. So this is going to be the first tempo. Um, so the A part, as a bit of a refresher, goes... Let's go at that tempo, so one and two and that tempo. So here we go. Let's play the A part twice and the B part twice. One and two and ready and go and...
tune played nice and slowly. So now I'm going to increase the tempo a little bit. Um, so that was a one and two and... So now we're gonna go... So a little bit faster. One and two and ready and go and... That's the second tempo, and now let's play it a little bit faster. So we were just going one and two and so. Let's do that tempo, one and two and ready and go and. Thank you. 
okay. <laughs> I hope that that helps and I don't want anyone to feel discouraged if that last tempo or like any of those tempos were difficult because they are. That that's It's a tricky tune to play and I have a hiccup. Excuse me. Anyway, <laughs> so I hope that helps and I hope the extra tempo thing helps more than discourages. I don't want to discourage people but yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you have fun practicing. Bye!